Okay, hi guys. So it's been about two years. Yeah, that's crazy. It's been about two years since I did the um, Santa Monica tour. I got my AA in June, so about two months ago. And um, yeah, it's been cool. <laughs> Um, so I just kind of really want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, Santa Monica. It was an amazing school. I loved everything about it. The one thing that I would say that it's like, eh, would be the counselors. But I wouldn't say that it's completely on the counselors, specifically at Santa Monica. I feel like that's more of a college problem is are the counselors because you don't have like a specific counselor who you go to so it's more of a drop in and you can prefer to you can like select your own counselor so you can see when that counselor is available for you but even then a lot of the times they won't give you like specific advice it's just like general advice which could set you back for your goal because once again they don't really know the specifics about your personal story so you really have to be active in that and just kind of be able to maneuver around those problems um but yeah that's the only thing that i would say wasn't the best about it but everything else is amazing i loved the campus i was honestly not on campus that much i did most of it online um, so I could work and it was to totally manageable. I've always been a full-time student those two years and then I had about two classes that were in person and the in-person classes were they were both math so it was for pre-calc and calc. Another thing is that it's known the SMC math department is one of the hardest math departments of like the community colleges so you really have to prepare yourself for that set yourself up for success in the in the sense that you don't want to go to a higher level math thinking that you can be there i mean if you can go for it obviously but don't don't overdo it so it doesn't set you back because i remember that's what i try to do my very first semester there i was taking a regular pre-calc and i stopped at algebra 2 in high school so i had like no background and then i stopped doing math all together junior year so senior year I had no math classes so I it was it was a while since I stopped doing math and, like be so so organized so that when it's time for you to actually transfer and put all of your course like transcripts in that you're able to go back to a specific place and you're not running around everywhere um, the reason I say this is because I'm a very organized person and I kept everything in one spot and even then I had some issues so originally I was going to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. That was my dream school, right? And I got conditionally admitted to school, which was the good thing, right? And then I had, everything was running smoothly. I applied for FAFSA. I did the housing application. I submit my records, like all of these things that you need to do. I had submitted those. And then this is where I got mad. They sent me an email right before the spring semester was over and they were like, oh, by the way, I can see you're missing a class. Um, it's the calculus class. And if you don't have it done by spring, then you're, you're not going to be fully admitted into the school. And then I'm like, okay, well, I kind of wish you had told me that before <laughs> because um, I was always programmed to take the calculus class, but I was taking it during summer. But I guess they weren't accepting summer transcripts for whatever reason. And once again, it's like fine. Like those are your rules. That's fine. <laughs> Just I really wish they had told people before. That's another advice when you're trying to transfer. Make sure that the school that you're going into accepts um, summer transcripts if you are taking a summer class. For SMC, I did do spring and, and winter semesters. I absolutely love them. Some people hate them because they're really fast paced, but I prefer like quarters, quarter terms just because it goes by faster and I feel like since it goes faster, you have to really dedicate yourself to that class. I tend to be the person to be like, like in the very first, um, beginning of the semester, I'm like, yay, like I got this, I'm, I'm going strong. And then little by little, I just start getting lazier and <laughs> lazier as have that same problem. Um, I definitely recommend winter and spring semesters. Also, because some teachers, depending on what the course is, they're not as strict. Let's see, I was part of the 
EO, EOSPS program, an amazing program. They, um, once again, you're gonna have to go back to like the SMC website and reference all of the eligibility requirements, but it's, I was eligible for that program, so, um, my books, they gave me like a, a book voucher, they were paid for, I didn't have to, that didn't have to come out of pocket. The only time that it might have to come out of pocket it is when you're taking, um, sp summer or winter classes because it's like not a full term technically like a semester term so you're gonna have to pay for those out of pocket some, most of the time um i was also part of the, the promise program i believe and that's that one is more toward fresh out of high school students who are going into a community college um and then it's like the first two years you first year of my community college um that was in person i did take the bus and i live in the san fernando valley right now so it's like a two hour bus ride which is a lot but i'm saying this because um santa monica if you go on to corsair connect admitted i think um once again check the requirements but if you do public transportation then you can do i think it's called the I, I don't know what it's called anymore, but it, you get a pass basically and you just scan it so you don't have to pay for your transportation out of pocket and it, you, the school does it. So I thought that was really cool because I think I was going like two or three times a week to school, which was a lot. Public transportation may not seem like it's expensive, but over time it, it can be expensive, you know? So yeah, I would recommend looking into that. I first went to Santa Monica. I think you guys can also see that when I toured the, the campus. It was still like very COVID heavy, right? So um, a lot of things were closed. Um, not a lot of events were going on. And then towards the end, a lot more events started opening up. I think that um, the gym at, at Santa Monica is already opening up. So yeah there's a lot of resources that help you great school um i also want to talk about the um math lab it's amazing um i'm not the best at math and like i mentioned before i took i just recently finished a summer class which was calculus and calculus is a hard subject <laughs> so i got some help from the math lab sorry my dog just started he growls i don't know where sometimes uh, <laughs> So yeah, I got some help from the math lab, and they're amazing. I passed the class with a B, and honestly, it wouldn't have been done without them. I do want to say, though, that don't expect them to do the work for you. Don't, because some people might be like, oh, if I go to the math lab, I'm going to get an A in the class automatically. And no, you still have to put your own work. You know, you still have to go home and study afterwards. I would study, like, all weekend sometimes, so yeah oh another thing that i want to mention and really emphasize are clubs you want to join clubs don't think that because it's a community college you should just like kind of like slack off and not really worry about it and like you're like oh i'll worry about it once i transfer don't especially if you want to transfer if you're if community college is more of a like um a passing thing like this will emphasize it but it's not as important if you're trying to transfer especially to like a competitive school um, or a saturated major you're going to want to join clubs not so much because like you'll want to put that in your um, application for transferring but because of the people who you will meet I used to say this phrase all the time I forgot what it was but it was like oh I used to say your network is your net worth <laughs> so what I mean by that is that who you know will definitely really impact you whatever your major is you want to network okay the reason why is because you get to meet so many interesting people who know people who know people and i got my first internship through um the rotaract club amazing club they're always promoting new opportunities for students so i got my first in internship through there you get to network it's fun you get to do fun stuff meet cool people especially because things are in a way going back to normal after after covid so it's going to be a lot more fun for you than it was for me a lot of our yeah all of our meetings were online until i think the spring semester was when they started meeting in person and it wasn't as often as it used to before um but yeah it's amazing i never was really interested in getting a job um, on campus but i know that they do offer jobs 
thing that I want to say is that SMC is a great school for, for international students. I made a lot of international friends. It was very cool because I like to learn about other cultures and other just what other people are doing, other people's mindsets, you know? Yeah, just have fun, join stuff, be active. Don't think that it's because it's a community college or you're, you're gonna slack off. Don't, like, you're gonna do yourself more harm than good, you know? Lastly, those of you who don't know me, my name is Carla, I should have said that at the beginning, but my name is Carla Hernandez, and I went to Santa Monica Community College, and now I am transferring to GCU, and I am very excited. It's a private Christian university. I am Christian, so it's like cherry on top. I am moving out there. August 29th is like the first day where I'll be like living on campus, so I'll probably leave like a day before. If you guys want to do a pack with me for university vlog, um, let me know in the comments. So, so I'm trying to do very fun stuff before I leave to Arizona. So if anybody has like cool recommendations or like their favorite spots in LA that I can do go to, um, please let me know. I am under 21, so no drinking stuff. And also I don't drink or smoke, so none of that, please. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching the SMC tour I think I got last time I checked there was like 10k views on that so thank you guys I'll keep you guys updated and bye